Hello my friends and welcome back. We got some news, interesting news that just confirms what I've been telling you for about a month and a half regarding the new club uh, in the progress of forming. We have the old club with a uh, uh, slave master which is uh, United States and we have the house uh, servants which are the usually always uh, Great Britain and sometimes uh, Italy and France and then we have the bottom feeders the slaves the plantation uh, slaves or the bottom feeders you know like the carps like the carp you know the that that uh, fish who feeds on the bottom of the lake that's what are the rest of the club's members so it's only one master you got a guy, a guy who is the ex executioner and then sometimes France and Italy try to play something Germany is a bottom feeder like you know Baltic states and Romania and all those guys you know and then we have another club that's a forming right now and that is uh, Russia India China Brazil South Africa which is the uh, BRICS remember that uh, coalition economic coalition organization and some other countries who are just uh, waiting to see who's winning and how they can profit well let's go and see what's going on with the second club, Russia, Axis, let's say Axis, uh, Russia and China. So we have a uh, South China Morning Post article from May 9th, 2022. And this is the title, China will boost ties with Russia in military tech, energy and space, top envoy say, says. So when you hear newspapers saying and news outlets saying that, oh, China is giving up on Russia and China runs away towards the moon. Well, I don't know. I got some other articles here that kind of, uh, you know, uh, do not support those claims, but who knows? But let's go and see what's going on here. Russia has been on uh, Russia. China has been on Russia's side from the very beginning. They have been together for the past 10 years because they are, the club kicked them both the curb and said, you know what? I think. China, Russia, I think we're good enough, we're strong enough, we get together, we're not going to be pushed around together by the club anymore. So let's do it. So let's see what's happening in East uh, Asia with those Japan, you know, busy, busy bee Japan lately, with Australia and then New Zealand and uh, all those guys that try to form a little alliance over there for the peace and tranquility and status quo of the Pacific family. These are the words they use, not me. I'm just reiterating or re, you know, vomiting here for you. <laughs> so let's see. China will continue to deepen cooperation with Russia on military technology, energy and space, according to its top envoy in Moscow, amid speculations that Beijing might help its neighbors evade sanctions over the war in, in uh, Ukraine. You think? They buy oil and gas full capacity right now. We know that. They say it. It's not a secret. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. In an interview with Russian state news agency TASS, Zhang Zanhui said energy had been the most important fruitful, like fruits in a tree, extensive area of pragmatic cooperation. What does that mean, pragmatic? My interest, you know, is uh, supreme. Extensive area of pragmatic cooperation between Russia and China. He said such cooperation would be strengthened, but as Europe tries to reduce its dependence on Russian fuel, that means shooting itself in the foot, because <clears throat> the, the big master said so, Zhang stopped short of promising to buy more oil and gas from Russia. But they do, so as I have to say, we all know it. Zhang said there were difficulties in bilateral trade with Russia, but the two sides would enhance settlements, international currencies to ensure stable trade that they hoped would reach $200 billion by 2024. So the uh, US hegemony will be out. So, hey, Americans, you better start producing shit and stop being massaging one another, providing services, you know what I mean? with ladies of the night services. So it's going to be hard because you have to do stuff. You can't just have the slave of the planet work for you and you just print money for them and give them. 
Oh, my bad. Did I say that? Yeah, because that's how it goes. Sorry, no, uh, uh, no, no insults uh, intended. It's just reality uh, speaking. Um, well, that's what it is. The U.S. and the Western sanctions against Russia are indeed causing some problems with Sino-Russian practical cooperation, and the two countries should strengthen communication and coordination to solve the difficulties caused by sanctions to both sides in trade settlements and logistics, Zhang said, when asked if there were ways to bypass the sanctions on Russia. They would not give up about their sanctions. I'm telling you that, and you know that. China will continue to support the further expansion of local currency settlements. Local currency settlements, not <clears throat> U.S. settlements, in bilateral trade, investment and credit, and give full play to the role of infrastructure, organizations, and financial institutions in both countries, including the Russian Business Clearing Bank to serve and ensure the steady development of bilateral trade. Yeah, because, you know, uh, China is just a second economy, uh, global economy, so it's not, it's, it's not really a... Uh, uh, minor thing to bypass or to oversee. Oh, it's just China. All right? But they're going to use the Westerners, you know, for certain things and they're going to do their own thing on, on, on the side. You'll see. His remarks came after Vladimir Zabarov, the first deputy chairman of the Russian Upper House's Foreign Affairs Committee, last month suggested Russia was willing to use the Yuan Yuan, the Chinese uh, currency, in its trade with China, raising speculations that Beijing may try to help Moscow get around sanctions through a dollar-raised financial payment system. Let's go. Let's start the manufacturing here. In an interview, Zhang denied that there was any plan to abandon the U.S. dollar but said that the two countries would adopt practical and flexible forms of cooperation in trade settlement according to actual demands and realities. So we're not going to get rid of it, but if reality and, you know, the market dictates, what can we do? We're going to drop the dollar. My bad. You know, sucks for you. Last month, China, China monthly imports of Russian products, including energy, hit a record high. The value of imports from Russia was $8.89 billion in April and 56.6% per year earlier than 13.3% above March, according to South China Morning Post calculations based on data from uh, General uh, Administration of Customs. So it increased, what, 13.3% in a war and sanction area, right? Uh, Russia, no limits partnership with uh, China's no limits. That's quote unquote. Partnership with Russia has been under close scrutiny since Moscow invaded Ukraine in February, which Beijing refusing to condemn Moscow and opposing sanctions as it walks a diplomatic tightrope between its allies and the West. Yeah, there are concerns in the West that an isolated Russia, which is not isolated, as China, as India, and has many other countries, but they like to tell this to their little bottom feeders, you know, people. Uh, is like China, Russia could try to step up technology cooperation with China. Do you think so? Particularly in sensitive areas such as military and space. Great. Uh, asked during the TASS interview if military tech cooperation would become a priority after the war in Ukraine, Zhang said cooperation between China and Russia was in, the, in line with their core interest and not targeted at third parties. Yeah, so it's our interest. No, nothing personal here, just business. Well, well, well. China attaches great importance to cooperation in, the, in this field and will work together with the Russian side to promote military technical cooperation between the two countries to a higher level and a broader field. So what else you want? What else you want? The new poll is emerging. China, Russia, India, blah, blah, blah. Maybe India now, because we, India, are, India are like in between. I say, okay, how can we take advantage from these guys or those guys? We're not on any, on, on either um, pole. We're just alone, you know, by ourselves, but we take advantage of both sides. Yeah, 
just look at where Modi was uh, last and who visited Modi. And Modi said, no, we're going to buy uh, oil from Russia. We need to do that. It's for our own interest. And don't stop lecturing us. <laughs> Smacked. And Boris went home with his turban. And uh, Tars, Tars, whatever his name is, the foreign minister went back. And then the Blinken went back. And uh, nothing happened. Good, good. So we have a different poll, another poll. So we have a bipolar uh, planet. <laughs> Economically, military, political. Okay, great. Competition is always good. You know, one poll is tyrannical. Two polls, competition. Nike and Adidas. Puma and uh, Asics, and these are just little bottom feeders. But it's just, uh, you know, Adidas and Nike. Competition, man, competition. Thank you for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and uh, pay attention. Uh, be just. See ya.